Peace, good world. Coach Kerry Cosmic King Delusma, athlete culture, body mind engineering. Up and at him, up and at him, up and at him, up and at him. Thought, thought, thought. Uh, actually, a, a recognition, a realization. And sure, call me Mr. Obvious. I'm, I'm noticing that the whole world, and I literally mean the whole world, is on this uh, revolutionary tip. No one is accepting anything right now. <laughs> Everyone is, is, is on edge and ready to fight. <laughs> I was about to say, if you don't believe me, you know, but of course you don't have to believe me. And if you don't believe me, then that means this post is not for you. Uh, it, uh, what I mean is like you you shouldn't I don't even know how you got here <laughs> in a sense not that it's not for you but how did you even get here you know uh, because obviously you don't care about the world around you um, but yeah there's, there's this there's this revolutionary aura there's this there's this revolutionary water that we're all sipping and no one is just accepting anything right now you know like no one no one is accepting election results you know what I mean um, no one is uh, accepting the leadership. I mean, kids been disrespectful to their parents. <laughs> but uh, it it's 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 like the theme right now. It's like the cool thing to do somehow. And I'm you know hey you know um, I'm all for revolution right. I'm all for change and. Uh, definitely change for the better. I don't know if I need to say that, but I feel like I have to say that. I'm all for change for the better, right? <laughs> and yeah, like, sometimes you gotta be ready to go through the pains of change. I don't know if we, we can even imagine. I, I just had to pause real quick. And go there, and I, I don't, I don't know if, if do y'all, y'all do that? Do y'all pause real quick and and go through the pains of of changes and what it takes, you know? Like even your own physical body, right? You want to change something about your own physical body, you have to go through some things. You have to do some things and go through some things, you know, to to even change your physical body. And that's your that's your body the one that you own that is yours and is given to you you know is is yours you know like so just imagine going out here in in a in a revolutionary mood or whatever kind of mood you're in looking for change or to be a change or to you know like so just think about it, you know, how how much time and energy you have to put in to change your own physical body that you have 100% control of. You know, you have 100% control of your physical body. And if you've ever done anything to change it, to, to master it in any sort of way, you would you would know. You know what I mean? Like you would you you would definitely understand this uh this little video, this little post about our revolutionary 
um, moods that, that we're in right now, globally, and I say we, I really mean humanity. You know, like, there's almost everywhere right now is, you know, feeling some type of way, looking for some type of thing or whatever, some kind of result, resolution, hopefully resolution and not you know not just revolution but resolution because revolution is not worth it if there's no resolution right if 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 you once you start to want that body to change right because that's a revolutionary thought right there wanting to change your body right unless you know what kind of changes you want it doesn't even like why you know, it's so that's the resolution, right? Like, you, do you want to be, you know, 240 pounds with 10% body fat? Like, that's a resolution, right? The revolution is wanting that and taking the steps to get to that, right? But the resolution, I think, is the most important, that goal, right? the goal line you know i think that that should be the most important part or don't don't even you know don't even um don't even you know yeah i did my best to explain that i, I hope y'all understand revolution and resolution you know those are two completely different things you know what i'm saying two completely different things but yeah you know um god bless you and your revolutionary uh adventure and uh hopefully there's a resolution to that revolution and it's not acting up just to act up i'm gonna end this like like this right now um the world can it, excuse me uh let me be more specific excuse me uh my my good leaders out there um wherever you are in the world right now excuse me please um listen real quick the world cannot afford your war okay to anybody doing better than 50 percent of their population right now the world cannot afford your war like and i mean earth like earth and i don't even mean people because you know we we all have stakes in some right we all have a revolution in us right uh, or a revolutionary in us right i don't even mean people i'm talking about earth right who's uh who's who's innocent more innocent than us human beings Cause it's us, you know what I mean. We 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 do it. We're we we're, we're the catalyst. We're we're the we're the biggest thing since dinosaurs went extinct. So, <clears throat> to 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 you out there, that's that's fifty per, doing fifty percent better than than the rest of the population of the world, which means that you have more control than the other 50% of the world, right? Please, the earth cannot afford your war. Like, the earth cannot afford it, okay? Somebody go real quick, run, run, to, run to the history books. Look at the places where wars have happened or, or wars are known to have happened. And look at, look at the natural landscape. And this is before highly advanced technological uh, 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 chemical warfare right this is this is way before now what we what we what we're gonna have going on now the the earth cannot afford your war obviously <clears throat> you know we I mean people please pay attention look at the scrambling you know look at look at what the scrambling is for like the earth cannot afford your revolutionary aura you know 
why don't you work on your body first try to try to be at 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 five percent fat percentage with, with with some muscle with some muscle uh definition five to ten percent fat body fat percentage with some muscle definition right do that first and i and i mean before you even get into tech and all of that right matter of fact do that using calisthenics first without using any weight right which is iron and and whatever you without using earth's uh, uh goodness and and, and 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 grace you know achieve a five a five to fifteen percent uh, body fat type of body with some muscle definition. Achieve that first, and then you know you could go out and, and dig you up some iron and whatever else that you need from from Mother Earth. First, dig that out of yourself first. Because we all have this 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 there's this fire brewing inside of all of us. By the way, look out for Firewater Music, man. Hit my YouTube, hit the link. Firewater Music. We all got that fire burning inside of us, right? That revolutionary, you know, that revolution is just, it seems like we're built for it. You know what I mean? We're just hot and emotional and. And I did say we, so don't think I'm. Don't think I'm making myself exempt on any any type of way, you know. That, that's why I share this shit because I'm imperfect. We're we're all we're all hope hopefully we're all looking for for the for the road to uh, perfection, right? Hopefully, I mean, you you wouldn't want to be imperfect, like. You wouldn't want to be imperfect, would you? Like you, you want to be your best self, right? Because that's that's the real revolution, the internals, right? That's the real revolution. Before you become Iron Man, become Doctor Doom first. If you if you're gonna become, you know, if you're gonna do. If you're gonna go that way, at least be Dr. Doom first before you become Iron Man. <laughs> that's, that's for the millennials and Gen Z's out there. Everybody under 40. Actually, no, because there's, there's, there's never mind that. There's people 60 years old that know comics better than anybody else out there. But yeah, before you become uh, Iron Man, Become Dr. Doom first. And before you become Dr. Doom, you know, reach Buddhahood first. <laughs> reach your Christ first, right? Reach your higher self first. And then, you know, if you decide that Dr. Doom is necessary, sure, you know. And then if you decide that from Dr. Doom, uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark is necessary, then sure, because we're at Tony Stark right now. Good world. We're at Tony Stark right now, okay? The world went from Dr. Doom. Well, before that, what was before that? Who can I reference that was before that? Uh, you know, not so heavy metal. But still environmentally risky. Give me one environmentally risky type of character that we can say that was before Dr. Doom and before where we're at right now as far as uh, uh, Iron Man is concerned. Because we're at Iron Man right now. But I'm sure we started at a... Uh, let me see, man. Who 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 can we? I I can't even think of 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 a of a character right now that would resemble someone who's uh, environmentally risky 
and uh, and and have nature at at their mercy, right? Because we came from having nature at our mercy to Doctor Doom to um, Iron Man. So all you Iron Man people out there, please, I beg of you, man. The Earth cannot afford your existence. <laughs> I shouldn't have laughed when I said, but the earth cannot afford your existence, okay? Please do not kill us all, all right? I was in Haiti like five years ago and I tasted this, this water and I'm trying to taste this water again, man. And I don't know, it's like the once in a lifetime type of thing and I had, I was blessed to have this this wonderful water man it, it like it filled me you know i've never had water like that ever peace good world peace and um peace <laughs> we can't afford it man <laughs> can't afford it cannot afford it thank you peace <laughs> five to ten percent five to fifteen percent body fat it's a muscle definition Okay. All right. Natural man before Dr. Doom and Iron Man. Okay. So please, Iron Man, curb yourself, my friend. Hold on. Hold on, my friend. May, may God bless you in ways that you haven't been blessed ever before. May God bless you. You Iron Mans out there. May God bless you. Peace. Coach Kerry 